Hello and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. You're hanging out with Miser and this is episode three of our Satisfactory series. We've got a bit of automation going. I'm just going to check on stuff, see how it's doing so far. I'm pretty happy with it. Please knock a few. Mm, yeah, we'll knock a few more. We're going to have more of these soon. Yes, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We need more. What is this? Copper. Yes. I am filling it right now. Go get that cooking. So we've got a very, very basic setup right now. This needs something to spit the resources out into. This needs something to spit the resources into it and then something to spit it out into. Uh, we need, we, we have a lot of work to do. Okay, let's take a look at where we're at with the hub. We're on upgrade five. We need wire and the bars. I'm going to drop the bars in now. Might as well. And the wire. Where are we at? Do I not have wire? You know what? I know. Here we go. Let's say... Stop that. Oh, we only have one. Shit. Oh, plenty. Okay. Give us some wire. Give us some wire. I turned into uh, Italian for a second. That was a horrible Italian accent, but in my heart, I was Italian. Okay. Now, let me see if I can get up a little bit higher so I can get a really good viewpoint. Nope. Kidding. I know a little bit later we can get a chainsaw and we can cut down some trees. So the trees are not that big of a deal. Oh, I don't need to get up on that little thingy right there. I got this. Okay. Thinking the... Well, absolutely first is even though we kind of moved to be in a little bit of a better situation here... This is still a shitty situation. We don't have a lot of different resources. Oh, big flea is big again. It turns out the baby flea and then big pupper were actually April Fools from the the developer, which that was clever because I I had no idea. I thought there was something wrong with my game. <laughs> I love little April Fools things like that. That's that's cute. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need to find a better place to go. I don't have a map yet. So I think right now the best thing to do would be to continue upgrading this until we get access to the map and kind of get an idea of where we're at, where we need to go. Another big flea. Get everything kind of situated. If I just try to take my willy-nilly ass out and just walk around and find stuff... I'm going to get so horribly lost. It's it's better just to give me a map. At least then I have a fighting chance, right? Okay. Another thing I really wanted to do, and that's get some of this leafage made into biofuel. There's so many things we need. It's, it's literally ridiculous right now. Oh no, I'm full. Let's actually add some of this stuff in the leaves can go the wood can go lots of limestone I'm gonna knock a bunch of this it doesn't really matter too much i forgot about this this is literally the whole reason why we oh bless my heart okay craft a few more i don't think that's enough up here what am i doing i just got off work i'm very tired so bear with me <laughs> we need five more you know i'm actually just gonna make what is that sound it sounds like a whale it does it sounds like a whale well whales in movies i don't know if that's really what a whale sounds like all right 
And let's go. Level five is done. Or was that level four? Hang on. Yeah, level five. I'm so smart. <laughs> All right, this biomass burner is amazing. This gives you 30 megawatts. See, Miser learns uh, per second. Don't quote me on that. And it also gives you the space elevator, which actually lets you level up to tier one. I'm very excited. I think tier one is where you can get the, the mappage and stuff like that. So we need quite a bit of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff made up, and then we're going to see if we can't get that level 6 unlocked. You have unlocked. Minor mark one. Oh, I had it in here cooking. Storage container. Hub feature. Additional biomass burner. Tenth objective. Complete hub upgrade 6. Note. There are no notes. There are no notes. Okay. All right. We've got an idea of what we need here. Here and here. It's not that bad. I'm not mad at it. Just one or the other. The ore is in the box. All the ore is in the box. Looks like little bubble gums. I like it. You know, they sound so much scarier when they're huge. I don't know why. Move these out so that we can there we go. I'm gonna assume that it's megawatts per second. I really don't know. That and I think we just have the one going. Oh, this got opened up with the, the fifth level. I'm not gonna worry about it right now though, because it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters anymore. I got an idea. I'm going to go ahead and get everything automated really quickly while we're waiting for stuff. Let's do product. No, it's not production. It's organization. Storage. Look at that. If you press control, then you don't have enough materials. I love how it has a blinking can't afford right in the center. Thanks, buddy. The story of my life. <laughs> All right. So we're going to need some. What was it? It was the iron plates. And what was the other thing? I forget. Goodness gracious. I think it was iron rods, if I'm honest. Okay. And then iron rods. I'm not trying to go crazy with these. I don't want to spend all my time manually doing these things when we're we're gonna have a little a little area to do these with. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh no. I can't wait till we get more advanced items. There's a splitter, and there is a. A splitter and a joiner or something like that. I forget what it's called. Buddy, get out of the way. Um, we're missing a little bit of everything for this. But it's fine. I'm not gonna make you watch me go collect or and build things in the in the workbench. I'll be right back. You know what? I think that the little, I don't know, they look like like monkeys with a really fancy scarf blowing in the wind. But I think they might have been part of the April Fool's thing, too, because this little guy is back. Oh, and look at little baby pupper in the corner up there. I want to go, I want to go shock him with my little stick. Because he gives you alien stuff. Put it in our hand. By it, I mean the shocker. I do not need this resource, but I need his hide. Ooh, ouch! That was that was bad. There we go. Yeah. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Yes. I've got his hide. Okay. 
So all of our resources are a cooking. You know what? I'm going to grab all the sleepage. The next thing that we get is going to be the biomass. It's going to be so good. I cannot wait. Once you get the biomass, I feel like everything really starts moving. Oh, there's so much stuff here. And I'm ready for a little bit more. I keep doing that. So irritating. Take that off. I'm just going to try to line it up the best I can. That looks good. Why is that so... Why is this one so far inside of it? About to get this machine over here pregnant. Go. Because of the stupid tree. Ah, oh, stupid tree. Okay, let's line it up the best we can. I still feel like that's super close, but that's better than it was. Right, I'm going to press three and we're going to do a little conveyor action. It's not really straight or anything. It's all like wonky, but you know what? It's better than nothing. See how we're looking here. Looking real good. I'm going to make some more. And drop in the rest of the stuff. Ooh, look at that. I'm feeling happy. All right, now let's do the sixth one. Ho oh, ho, I'm excited. I need a ton of these bars. I'm going to do some more bars. Where's my iron? I thought I had more than that. You know what? Maybe I put it in the, in the thingy over here. I did. How dumb. Right. Look at me go. Okay. Out. We're going to select a recipe and we're going to say iron rods because we need a million of them. Oh no. Trees. See, this is why I'm really looking forward to getting the biomass or biofuel. Um, because the amount of leaves this machine takes is, I think for the biomass, it takes 12 per minute. This takes 80 per minute. It's literally one eighth the amount. So I'm really looking forward to getting it started. But we need a, what's it called? A converter, a constructor. <gasps> Maybe we do that. guess it doesn't really matter because we don't have the, the biofuel yet. But we're going to have it real soon. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get it started. Get it started while stuff cooks. That's the worst that could happen, right? I have it like a little bit longer than I should. Oh, no! We need, we need reinforced iron, which means we need screws. And for screws, we need bars. And I don't have any bars. Okay, so we're going to make some bars. And I think we need 24 screws. 12 screws? 24? I don't know. I don't know. Mine just can't count. We all know this. Okay, and then I also need some plates. And we can see here it says one, so now we're good to go. We only need the one plate anyway. I'm not going to... Oh, hi, buddy. Barnacles. A little whale, but he looks like a little... I like him. I didn't like him the first time I met him. As you guys know, we had a little bit of a rocky start. But I like him now. That's all that counts, right? I'm a miser that admits when she's got a wrong opinion. Put this in here. Oh, no. Do these? <gasps> yes, we can. We just need to hook it up to some power. Two, and I'm going to press from one to the other. And I'm going to... Um, let's toss the wood in. 12 wood per minute. 12 wood per minute is not bad. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Look at that. Oh, we got our little, our little plates going. This thing over here is Constructor 2. I thought this was our first one. I obviously don't know what I'm doing with my life. And we're going to need more. 
this game is so very intensive with the with the running around. But you know what? I like it. It's 90% of what I do in games anyway. I'm free to admit it, and I'm happy to admit it, so whatever. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. 40. Take a look. 16, is that going to be enough? We're going to be too short. But again, math. Yes, too extra. I went the wrong way. It's okay. Do have enough here yet? Come on, rebar. Well, 77. 77 would be 22, 23? I don't know. Math, math is stupid. I mean, if you like math, if you're good at math, if your brain maths easily more power to you the world needs people that like math and know math but it is not for me <laughs> gonna take my confused ass over here and just be patient for a little bit honestly i could probably just make some we barely need any like right there that's more than enough it's so fast that boom Oh, yeah. I'm so happy. This is six. We got our biofuel. I don't want to select a milestone. I just want to take a look at the old milestones. <gasps> what is this? Ooh. Look. You have unlocked building space elevator, building biomass burner, part. Biomass. Look at that. Motivational message. Biomass. You succeeded in every provided task. Every provided incorporated that's right for your current and future service. Welcome. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along with okay. improved protocols. No Note, problem. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and as such initiating Ugh. project assembly. Good luck. Okay. Good luck. It's like, have fun, dumbass. The biomass is what I'm looking for, though. And mostly it's to get this leaf biofuel or biomass, not the wood, because the wood, it doesn't really matter. The one to one ratio. The leaves, though. Oh, man. Sorry, I saw some more leaves over here. I can't stop picking up the leaves. Go, and I'm going to put some here. No. I said no. Denied. No leaves. There we go. Look at that. Five biomass per minute. And it's... Oh no, it's taking ten. Ten leaves for five biomass. Oh, you, I, I don't know if you can hear the gears turning in my brain. It's very loud in there though. It, there's a lot of rust and stuff. So let's say a hundred leaves gives you 50 biofuel. So you're basically doubling the biofuel that you're using. It says 12, but you're actually using 24, right? But it's still less than 80, I think. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go do a little bit of exploring while, while Steph cooks. I don't really, I don't really know where I'm at too well. I already, I already have stuff. It's fine. You know, these guys right here. Oh, look, I learned this. Look. And then we drop this. Hang on, I gotta put my tool away. Look at him. Buddy. Is that delicious? Aww. Doggo with a long Nemo. That I'm gonna name Ao. He's so cute. I just wanna squish him. Oh, you can pet him. 
All right. I wonder if you need to put food in his inventory. Like, does he need to eat? Oh, you're so cute. He was cute as a big old doggo, but a little doggo is so much more adorable. I don't know why. I love tiny things, though, like miniature cups, miniature, I don't know, anything tiny, really. I watched this show. You guys don't make fun of me, okay? I watched this show on YouTube called Tiny Kitchen. <laughs> it's basically just... Um, is it's basically I think it's a Korean creator and she just comes in and she uses like quail eggs and she'll take these tiny tiny little pieces of chicken and she'll just like cut steaks off of it and she cooks these teeny tiny little meals and she even does like stuff as like complicated as like steaks and she does linguinis and cakes and it's so cool. <laughs> I watch probably way more of it than I should. But I tell you what, it's really nice when you're just trying to do a little bit of work and you just need something playing in the background that is freaking adorable. I'm authorized and I do not have anything in my hand. Okay, oof. Let's dance. Oh, buddy, watch out. There we go. That's an alien butt. Look, he just follows me around. He's so happy. You know the other, like, really guilty pleasure viewing thing I watch? Um, it is, it's another kind of cooking show, I guess. But it has... I cannot wait for the... For the chainsaw and I can just all this. Um, so my guilty viewing pleasure is there is a cooking show and it's basically like a stop motion Lego thing. It's like the person comes in with a knife and they slowly chop it and everything just like it's like real fruit at the beginning. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're like, what the hell, miser? If you do, you're like, I get you. It's so satisfying. But look it up. Lego cooking. You won't regret it unless you do. And then it's not my fault. <laughs> I feel like if you like my content, you probably are going to like that too, though. So. Okay. I, I think I actually might know where I'm at. Maybe. I think I do. I think I know where I'm at. I think in my, my solo game. Don't don't quote me on this, but I think I'm building right in this area in my solo. There should be like a, ooh, a big old boy over here. Let's get him. This is a I think a normal node. Fast little aardvark. Punch his booty. Yeah. Oop, nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, look at He's so dramatic. That's how I would die. Yeah, this one's normal, and I think there's one more, like, right over here. Yes. Where I'm at in my solo. So, we got two normals right there. But the cool thing is, is that... We've also got uh, here is copper. Oh no! Ow! I win. Back here, chicken. There we go. I'm gonna have so much alien butt in my inventory. Anyway, so this is. A great place for copper, a good place for the, not, yeah, it's limestone. A great place for the limestone. I think this might be a bit of a better place to really, I don't even want to set up camp here. I mean, everything is kind of close together and the way that I did it in my solo, I moved everything from the copper this way and then I moved the iron this way 
And it kind of created this whole platform of just machinery everywhere. Which, I mean, that's kind of cool. And it's kind of what we want. But in the same vein of things, this is literally like the corner of the world. Like, that's it. And I don't want to be off in a corner. So it's, I don't know. I, I'm really unsure of where to make my home. It's going to be something I really need to think about. The, the running that I need to do for the resources that I'm getting right now is a little bit too intensive. I feel like it should be a little bit easier to to get those resources. Like I shouldn't have to run around mountains and climb up them and stuff like that. I definitely want to move. That quick, a hundred lime. Okay. We've got more limestone over here. I oh, I got my power out. Oh. More iron here. This is an impure node. There's another impure node over here. Yeah, this is definitely my spot. It's kind of cool because I know this spot, but in the same vein, I need a better area. Down there's a coal mine, a coal node. What would be really cool is if I could find some power slugs or whatever they're called. Our rangers. Yeah. Ooh. Thought I heard some pleasant tinkling. How do I get up here? Probably gonna be super easy, but maybe I lied to myself. Maybe it's not gonna be super easy. Do I need to... I think I need some little platforms or something. Do I have access to those yet? No. That sucks. P.S. I don't know if you guys know how many of those I cut out when I'm filming. I'm constantly making noises that is just... It sounds weird if you don't know what they are. <laughs> if I miss any of them and you hear like that clicking sound that's me just clicking my tongue because i'm weird all right i'm gonna go back to oh oh this is a little grotto with I think there's a i think there's a thing that spits fire at me or maybe that was i don't know what was an april fool's joke and what wasn't which is a little bit disturbing i'm a little bit mad about it I'm not. It was so clever. It was so funny. Oh, nope. That's a bad thing. Yeah. And I'll, yes, he spits fire. Yes. See, I knew it. I don't like that I can't see him in here. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? Come here. Yeah, there's no running away from me. Yeah. He's weird looking. His feet look like... Have you guys ever seen camel feet? Low-key, that's what they look like. Um, except for camel feet are more like... Puffy. And... Oh, you Look up camel feet. Uh, camel feet, not camel toes. Two different searches. If you look up the secondary one, I'm not taking the blame for it. But, um, yeah, it looks just like that. And then the head looks like some type of alien thing. I guess he is an alien, so checks out. Ah, there's so much wood on the floor. Ooh, what are you? Mercer Sphere, work in progress. I don't know what a Mercer Sphere is. Oh, I got so many leaves. This is going to power me for a little while more. I am a hoarder in my heart, in my deepest of deep hearts. 
I love collecting stuff. I love hoarding stuff. I will literally stand here and pick up every leaf and every piece of wood in the area and happily do so. But I love it. Love it. When my hoardiness pays off. Like when you turn around and you're like, oh, I need five million of this item that nobody else wants to get because it's so tedious picking it up. That's me. That's what I do. I'm going to drop this three because I would rather this quartz. So I know that you can get the MAM. And can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A That's new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. The MAM. The MAM is what we're going to be working on next, I think. Okay, let's get back to our base. Um, well, let's pick up this stuff and then get back to our base. All right, we are back at base. I'm going to throw some more items in here so that we can get more biomass started. Oopsie. Not going to up in here. Anything that I think might, I might not want to touch. I'm going to put in here. Looking good. Don't think we're going to be using these just yet. I know you can use them as a painting source later. Like you can make these little drums of paint. I haven't used them yet, but I like the idea of being able to paint stuff because it makes it really unique, you know? Plus it makes it pretty. You guys know I look pretty. All right, so I'm going to grab the biomass out of there. Get those start, uh, get stuck. And then I'm actually going to split this by right clicking. Take that out and drop that in. That's going to burn so much slower than anything else. There we go. Look at that. It's actually 6.67 per minute, not 12. So it's even better than the, than the wood. Kind of nice. I like it. Okay. So we got our biomass cooking. What do we got cooking over here? We need to have something going. I'm just sitting here wasting daylight. We want to have more. We're going to need a literal ton and a half of this wire. I think it's uh, 1,500. A lot. It's so much. Okay. Base building logistics. This is what I was talking about. The conveyor merger and the conveyor splitter. The lift is eh. I did use it, but I'm not using it a ton, you know? Um, the, the splitter, that's what I'm using. Like, I'm using it a ton. The merger as well, but not as much. And then this one, we're going to do this one next. I'm going to drop this, this, and this. We're short on everything. Got 100 on me. I'm going to make them real quick. Kind of funny. It feels way faster doing it by hand than it does doing it in the machine. It could just be because I'm watching it go up, but I think it's faster doing it by hand. And we need some iron plating. We're going to do 50 of these. There we go. 50 of these. We got 33 of those. All right, we just need a little bit more limestone. And I think it's this way. Okay, 67. I think it's just over what we need. Yes, look at that. Let's go base building. I'm excited. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. And oh, yes. Building these will provide a grid for more advanced organizing and sectioning of your factory. Nice. Okay. I like it. You know, I think I want to build 
levels where one level is going to have like iron and then the next level will have all of my copper pieces and then the level above that will have all my limestone pieces or maybe I'll flip that and reverse it where the limestone is on the bottom because it's going to be the smallest I think don't quote me but I think that all you can build with the limestone is going to be the, the rock stuff what is this called the concrete I think but I think we're going to go ahead and call it right now for today. Thank you so much to everybody who's taken the time to like, subscribe, or leave a comment on my videos. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hell, if you didn't like it, hit that like button anyway. It really helps out. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I post videos every Thursday, Saturday, and Monday at 12 p.m. PST. I am West Coast and members get early access. So if you're interested in becoming a member, you can actually hit the join button down below. Memberships start at $4.99 and you get early access to all of my videos as well as private access to certain areas of my Discord as well as members only items in notifications, pictures, all kinds of stuff. Again, thank you to everybody and until next time, Bye.